Okay, I'm gonna show you now how I build a file for the weekend, um, how I create my playlist flow. Um, and I typically, you can build it from scratch every week if you want, but I use an existing playlist that I already have and I change it from there. So let me show you how I do that. First, I change the date of my playlist, which in this case is the 21st. You probably, I have to export my playlist and put them on a different machine. So if you're building them on two different machines, this is how you would do that. Um, you might be able to just leave the same name. Uh, but in this case, I'm using, this is my uh, documents in my playlist here. This is called the playlist, these are the documents. So I start with my pre-service slides. Um, this little clock button up here will put a, um, I'm gonna take them all off, but this puts timers for how many seconds they're on before they bounce to the next one. You can do that each individually with um, a go to next timer, which tells you how long it's on the screen, and then your last one, you have to click loop to the beginning so that when it's done, it moves to the next one. We're not gonna do that. Um, I just first start off with making sure I have all the right slides. Um, and in that case, you go to your service brief, which in box will tell you here um, what's in Planning Center, um, what's in Church News, these are your live announcement, a Swaziland trip, and then a next steps uh, announcement. If there's anything special, which Upper West Side doesn't have anything, baby dedications for Brooklyn. And then here's your production slides, worship, uh, the app, next steps, and visionaries. Uh, they don't have Swaziland in there, but I'm gonna keep it in my pre-service and post-service loop slides. Um, so let's make sure we have all those right. We have our, I have a welcome to Liberty Church slide. Um, that I use, which I slightly edited um, the default slide um, to have like a welcome thing. We've got the apps, next steps, um, visionaries, Swaziland, and the worship slide. Okay, so I got all my slides right. If I click this little clock and put an eight second timer on each one, it will automatically put eight seconds on each slide and a go to next, or go to the loop to the beginning on the last one. So when I click this, um, it will sit there for a few seconds and then bounce to the next slide. Okay, so now I can also check my closing slides. So I have a pre-service slides and a closing slides in my playlist. They should be the same. In this case, my slides are the same. So I'm good to go with that as well. Okay, so everything works there. I can clear everything by just hitting clear all. And that's good. All right, then I usually take out my songs from last week. So here I have a song, do what you want to. I right click that, remove from playlist. I have a welcome and then I have a song. Right click, remove from playlist. Click the song, right click, remove from playlist. Thank you, Jesus. We'll remove that from the playlist. Now I have announcements, a message. I'm gonna take that out. Um, invitation closing. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things. I'm gonna show you how I add these. Um, and I'm going to show you how I adjust my language. Um, since we're moving to a new um, series of language for our planning center uh, run sheets, I want our playlists to match our run sheets. I think that would be the um, best way to go about this. So um, first we have our pre-service slides. Then next in our list is our countdown video, which we see here, countdown video. Um, my countdown video, I just drag it in and drop it in here. And it is there ready to go from last week. Then I have a song, Heaven and Earth. So I go to my library um, and type Heaven and Earth. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Oh yeah, so I scroll to the top and this is giving me my most likely hit, Heaven and Earth. I drag it and I drop it in, Heaven and Earth. Then I'm gonna have a welcome, which I put the Liberty Church welcome slide as my, I'm gonna click this so you can see them all in context. Um, so you can see uh, I have a welcome, a welcome slide in my welcome by MC. Then I have Thank You Jesus and Sinking Deep. So I'm gonna add those two songs after the welcome. So, Thank You Jesus. 
and then sinking deep. Double check those. Okay, have those all in here. Um, sometimes you want to double check a few things. It looks to me like I'm not sure if I have the right fonts or templates in here. So an easy, easy way to fix that is to click it and hit Command A to select all. That's going to select everything in this little um, section in this song. And then I can go to my template. Uh, I have in my case this is music center yours will be a little bit different so I'm gonna do the same thing for these guys just to make sure that my template is correct that one is this one is the one that looks wrong but there we go alright so now I got all my templates right I've got my songs right after my songs, I have an MC section that has prayer and praise reports, offering church news, and some announcements. Um, but we're calling this section MC. Uh, in the past, I have called this announcements and offering. So I want to change the name of this. If I right click here, I actually can't change the name here, but I can here. So uh, if I look this up, announcements and offering, I can click on this, I can right click rename it um, maybe I want to still leave the announcements and offering for my own sanity so I remember what it is so I'll put that in parentheses so we're gonna call that the MC section and you'll see that it automatically changed it in my playlist which is excellent so in this section for the MC I have prayer and praise reports which we can just put the default slide up for that I'm gonna be switching back and forth between desktops here sorry about that um, then I have an offering slide, and then church news, a next step slide, a Swaziland slide, and then we have the introduction. So I have giving. Here's my giving slide, which is in there from last week. If I didn't have that, I can um, drag that and drop it in. I keep a folder for announcement slides. Um, my giving slide is in here right here I can just drag it and drop it in um, I don't have the right church news video in here so if I right click I can remove this cue for this video now the video is gone but I still have the church news thing in there so if I go to my videos which is where I have my um, church news video saved I just take it and I'm gonna drag it right over the top of this guy and it puts my new video in there I like to space things out with default slides just in case um, somebody likes to talk after something. I know that I have a next step slide coming after that and then I have a Swaziland slide also. Let's check the order in Planning Center. The Planning Center order is next steps then Swaziland. So I need to drop a Swaziland slide in there. So in my announcement slides folder I have a Swaziland slide. So I'm just going to take it, drag it over. If you have the slide, great. If you don't have the slide, you can just drop it anywhere in the thing that you want and then move it. And there we have um, the MC section. OK. After this, we have um, Andy's message from Prison to Palace. I've already made this message. So I'm just going to search for it. Um, and I have, well, let's go with the message Andy. Prison to Palace, here we go. So I can just drag that after my MC section. And it's going to drop it in there. So here is the message. Excellent. Um, now I have an invitation, which has my appeal slide, and then some closing announcements. In Planning Center now, this is being called I think Paul has it at listed as altar call. Um, so for the time being, we're going to call this altar call. And altar call, closing, and reminders. So let's just change the name of this section. We'll rename it. Um, find it in here. Invitation, closing, and announcements. So let's rename this to be 
Alter call, closing, and reminders. So it matches planning center. Okay, that changed it there. And now I have my uh, closing slide loop at the very end that already has my timers. Okay, now I have to make sure I have the right um, arrangements in because when I drop a song in from scratch, it just gives me the master. So I have to go to my arrangement manager. I choose main. It puts my proper arrangement already in there. I have a slide uh, in here for um, my background. I'm just going to take that out because I don't know what I want to use yet. Let's drop our arrangements in. Let's take out my background for that and then sinking deep. We'll put this arrangement in here as well. That's my main arrangement. I can rename that. Sorry, that's left over from Christ Fellowship. Um, okay, so this gives me all of my... I don't know why that's in there. We must have used this. Uh, let's see what's in my master. I'm going to take it out here. See, never delete something from this section. You always want to remove it from your arrangement. So take it out there. Okay, that looks much better. We can close this. Now my entire file is built and ready to go. All I have to do is add um, backgrounds for my three worship songs. Um, my philosophy for adding backgrounds for songs is I want things that are going to be not too busy so that they're distracting, but that have some color variance between them so we can change some mood and some lighting accordingly. So I go to my image bin and I scroll through my stuff that I have already preloaded and we find things that are going to work for um, what we want to use for the weekend. And let's say we want to use um, this purple galaxy background, um, we're talking about heaven and earth. So I take it, click on it, drag it, drop it in. Thank You Jesus is a softer song. Um, so let's go with this gold light. That's a change in um, color. If I want to preview them, I can click it and it's going to show it to me up here. Um, golden colors are nice. Uh, Sinking Deep is a water song, so maybe a blue would work for that. I have some backgrounds like this, um, which might be pushing it a little bit, but you know what? We're going to go for it. So I'm going to drop, well, I selected too many things. Maybe that's trying to tell me something. So here it is. Click it, drag it, done. Close my video bin. And this is how I flow an entire um, Sunday service. Pre-service slides, straight into countdown video, song, in the roadmap that we were using, welcome, new song. If I need to adjust my roadmap with this, um, as the band is rehearsing, I can do that in here. New song. Here's my announcements and offering, church news, other slides. Then I've got the message that was built beforehand, altar call, closing reminders, and then we're closing slides. And that's it for a week.